What's up guys? So we're here with the rack setup. It's a pretty accurate uh, recreation of Dave's 92 rack rig. It does have the CAE 3 Plus preamp and this is an early version with uh, you know the gray face, uh, completely unmodded, uh, completely stock from 1992. It recently got recapped by uh, John Sir himself and he kind of went through the whole preamp and and uh, fix any little th issues with it, but it did no mods to it. It's completely original to the year it was made. So this was made in 92. I do have the foot switch for it, and it's the main thing we're gonna be highlighting in this video. So um, next thing is we do have the Axe FX3. Now the Axe FX3 in this video is just adding a tiny bit of reverb to just give it a little bit of room sound. Uh, it's not really doing much. It's just acting as a central hub for different inputs so I can switch between the different preamps. So it's doing nothing uh, special there, as you can see. I can show you the preset. It just has a little bit of reverb and a delay block, but that's uh, not being used. And uh, so for the next thing, we have the BBE Sonic Maximizer. Now this is, I do believe, the exact model that Dave Mustaine had in his rack. So I just kind of happened to have one. I got it like super cheap, so kind of just wanted to add it for kind of uh, tonal differences. It does make a little difference. It's really just an EQ kind of filter, doesn't do much, and it's not that usable because sometimes if you, if you, do, if you do go too extreme with the levels of the, the bass and the, the treble, it, it just sounds way too thick or way too bright. So it, it honestly sounds better without it, but uh, I'm assuming Dave Mustaine at least used it maybe a little bit or something to uh, just add a little bit of uh, slight EQ to a sound. And the next thing we're talking about is the Real Tube 2 preamp. Now this preamp won't be highlighted too much in this video because it's more of a Dave uh, Mustaine recreation. So we'll mostly be playing some like kind of riffs and there'll be a tiny bit of lead stuff in there, but I would like to feature some more lead stuff and this particular preamp more in a separate video where I go over, uh, you know, Marty Friedman's rack. So we'll do a lot more of the solos and won't focus too much on the rhythm tones. We'll focus more on solo tones and that kind of thing. So. Uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss that video because we will make it uh, in the future. And lastly, we have the VHT2150. Now this is an early model as well. Mine is from 1990, so an amazing uh, piece of gear as well. And we will be highlighting that a little bit, but we won't be really messing with the settings. I did um, try to match some of the settings that I saw Dave Mustaine kind of have in his rack. So I did add some variation, of course, to make the left and right uh, signal sound a little bit different because I am running a stereo setup so you are hearing uh, the Bogner 412 and the uh, Mesa Boogie 412 so um, I kind of did that so I could get uh, a little bit more of a stereo uh, imagery without uh, having to double track stuff I wanted to do it in real time to uh, show you guys that you know what it sounds like without any post EQ and anything like that unless I indicate otherwise I will have some examples that show what this preamp and setup can sound like with a little bit of post EQ to try to, you know, make it sound a little bit more like the record or make it sound a little bit uh, smoother or just to my taste a little bit how I would use it in a mix. So you will hear some of those examples, but mostly what you will be hearing is just the raw sound of exactly what you guys are, are seeing and hearing here. So we will start with channel two. I will be tweaking the preamp a little bit so you guys can hear the differences in the channel 2 and channel 3 and tweaking a little bit so you guys can get a, an overall sound of what this kind of setup sounds like. <laughs>
anyway guys that's pretty much the video I'm kind of surprised that rack stuff isn't as popular anymore I think it sounds absolutely incredible especially with a good power amp and stereo I mean honestly I actually prefer kind of a rack setup like this over uh, the different heads that I've tried so kind of surprised that they kind of went away because it's it's neat to have your entire rig here I'm assuming because uh, I wasn't even alive at the time but uh, that Dave Mustaine and and Megadeth sounded absolutely incredible uh, during this era of their career and with this rack setup I'm, I'm not uh, surprised so sounds good to me hopefully it uh, comes across uh, pretty well on camera and uh, again a lot of cool episodes a lot of cool rack stuff to show so subscribe for more and hopefully guys we will see you in the next video with another cool awesome rack recreation so see you guys next time